Hey guys, welcome back to the third part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework for Python. So in this one we're going to talk about templates, which basically allow you to write HTML in your Django project. So as you might or might not know, HTML is just the programming language, or really the markup language technically, that dictates what all the content on the web is. So it's the language that defines what your paragraphs are, and a lot of the time just all the fundamental content that you see um, as opposed to how it looks. It's more just the actual content on the site. So let's go ahead and show you how you can use templates in your Django project. So you can see I'm in this Django project and I've just clicked on the views.py so we wrote this little function in the last video and all this does is it says okay we're going to respond when the user goes to the URL that's connected to this view so when the user goes to this URL, it'll go to views.home, and then it'll go to this view, this home view. And then when they click on that, we're just gonna give it a response back straight away. And this is good for very simple things. Like here, we just send, we just wanted to send a very simple message which just said home page. So if you remember, I'm actually just gonna run this Django project to show you what it looks like at the moment. So Python manage.py run server, that's going to run the development server. And then we can go to our web browser in the in the URL. So in the URL that it says here, forward slash account, because that's the URL that was defined in that URLs file that we just saw. And then if I refresh, you can see we get home page. And that's the text that's provided in this string. But at the moment, this web page, all that is is just that simple text. It's not very customizable. You can't do much with it. You can't make it a different size, you can't add more content really, you can just make it a longer string, but that's pretty much it. So to do more complicated things and add some HTML to this website, we're going to use templates. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back to the project and I'm going to delete this. Because you see we've got HTTP response, which, which we imported when we wrote this. But we've also got a render method here, and render is what's going to be used to render that HTML template. So I'm going to do render, and then I'm going to pass the request, because that's a mandatory thing that the render, render method requires. And then I'm going to just name the template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say accounts forward slash login dot HTML. And now we have to create this because obviously we haven't got any HTML file and it's not created yet. Well what Django is going to do by default is it's going to look in your templates folder for any HTML. So as you can see we haven't got a templates folder yet. So we're going to need to create that. So in my accounts folder I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to say forward slash templates and then because I've said accounts forward slash login I'm going to also create the accounts folder. So all that does now is it's got templates and accounts and then in that accounts folder I'm going to create login.html so now we've got that HTML file so I'm just going to create a HTML template here and one thing I love about Atom is you can just do a really really simple HTML template really really quickly um, but you can always type this out manually so in fact just to keep it simple I don't really need any of this stuff so I'm just going to say login. So the title, for those of you that aren't very familiar with HTML, is what it says here. So in the tab of a web browser normally, that's going to be the title. And then in the body, I'm just going to say, welcome, uh, you can log in here. OK, something like that. So if we save that and refresh, you can see now it's using that HTML template. Now I want to point out a couple of things what I've done here. So in the views.py you notice I've done accounts forward slash login.html and what you could have done is just said login.html and you could not put this accounts folder here because Django is always going to look in the templates folder but you don't necessarily need this extra folder here. The reason that I do forward slash so accounts forward slash login.html like that and I put this extra folder here, is consider the scenario where you have multiple Django apps and they all have a templates folder. 
Well, what Django does is it takes all those HTML files and it sort of compiles them together so that they're all in one place for it to refer, refer back to. And if you have a large Django project and you can't really remember all the template names that you've created and you create a template with the same name, so you've got two templates with the same name, and they're all in the in the templates folder directly rather than having this extra folder here. It's just going to pick the first one that it finds. It's not necessarily going to pick the one that you actually want to use. So by putting this folder here, you're being very explicit about the location of that template. So it's really not going to be very ambiguous because you're probably not going to have the name of your Django app uh, you know, more than once. You're, you're going to have an accounts app and you're going to have an app with some other name. You're not going to use accounts again. So if you always name this folder the name of the Django app, then it's never going to get confused with which template you're going to be using. So that's really, really it. It's a very, very simple uh, HTML document at the moment. But the advantage of using this HTML template is you've just got so much more flexibility with it. So you could add, HTML, add more HTML to this file. You could even add CSS to this file if you know about how to style using CSS. I'll just give you a couple of quick examples. I could do H1, which is a header. So it's the biggest sort of header that you can do with HTML by default. And I could say, welcome. So this is just an example of what you could do with HTML. So save and run that, you get a bigger header there. So it's much, much easier to do it with the HTML file than it is, say, that HTTP response method, which is clearly a lot more limiting because you, you can only put that string in and you really don't get much choice in the matter of, you know, styling it or making it a different size or doing other, any other things with it like that. So that's a really, really much better way of doing it. And I'll probably talk more about templates in later videos because it can get a bit more advanced when you have lots of HTML and you want to manage that more effectively. You can do that with things like code snippets, for example. But for now, I just want to give you the basics so that you have that good foundation of how to use the Django Web Framework properly because really, you, it is a good thing to use templates and HTML is really just going to give you that flexibility. So I really recommend using HTML templates in your Django project. So in the next video, I'm going to talk a bit more about how you can make your site really, really beautiful, really, really quickly using a CSS framework called Bootstrap.